the Zorba website. Yeah, this is Zorba, this is Zorba website, uh, zorba-xcroy.com. And um, you see here you have to scroll down to read the description of the project. And uh, with two lines of Xcroy code, you get uh, everything a little bit cleaned up. And uh, more concretely, uh, this is a different kind of data you can find in the nature. Um, relational data, semi-structured data, structured documents, unstructured data. And the question is, how do you provide a single framework to deal with this heterogeneity of data? So for relational data, it's pretty much uh, myster uh, mystery solved. But uh, what about everything else? And that's exactly the problem we address with XQuery. We want to provide the same functional characteristic from relational database to any kind of data. So a couple of words about XQuery. It's a family of specification from W3C. The language has an extremely powerful support for queries, updates, full text search, and scripting. It is a unified framework for all layers of a traditional uh, app, uh, software architecture, database, content management, middleware. Last but not least, it is a functional uh, programming language that can be optimized and parallelized. So the Zorba project is uh, open source. Uh, Oracle is contributing to it, uh, 20 AtemSec, uh, we are a um, startup company, and the Flower Foundation, which is a non-profit organization that uh, supports um, open source project in the XML area. Couple of words about the internal of the project. One thing we are trying to do is to be uh, up to date as much as possible with the W3C specification. So we're implementing uh, X-Query 1.0, X-Query 3.0, update facility, scripting extension, full text. We're also trying to provide a rich programming experience by providing a lot of uh, module libraries, OAuth authentication, PDF generation, image processing, uh, emails, uh, REST uh, APIs, you name it. And since you can uh, command your database management from XQuery, one thing we are doing is uh, providing a pluggable store so you can use any kind of storage behind uh, XQuery. So you can use PostgreSQL, the file system, uh, at 20 sec we're using MongoDB. And on top of that, you can use it from uh, different kinds of APIs, C++, Java, PHP. And uh, since XQuery is our uh, favorite programming language, we also use XQuery as a NOS language uh, for XQuery. Uh, very quickly, a couple of uh, code snippets. This is the main expression in XQuery. It's called the flower expression. It is an acronym for for, let, where, order, by, return. So here I'm selecting uh, entry nodes where the author is anonymous, or ordering by time, and I return the title. This is uh, an update expression. Here I'm uh, inserting a hello world node into uh, the entry vi entries variables. This is a full text expression. So I'm gonna match the word meal in uh, the phrase breakfast of champion using a WorldNet thesaurus. So this expression is gonna return true because of the uh, relationship narrower term. So meal is a narrow, uh, breakfast is a narrow, narrower term of meal. This is how you start a, a web server with Zorba. So you can uh, pass the closure as parameter, which is a new feature in XRF 3.0. And so for each uh, incoming HTTP request on the port 80, you, it's gonna call uh, the handler function receiving the HTTP request as parameter. You can uh, also uh, declare annotations to your uh, functions, much like in uh, Java annotations. And uh, we provide a reflection API so you can uh, read uh, annotation uh, names and values to functions. So here, I'm going to use the reflection API to to match for H to match HTTP request to XQuery function invocation. So let me show you uh, a small application I built in uh, in XQuery. So this is a small guest book. I can add an entry. seems to work. Couple of uh, interesting things about this application. First, if you look at the source code, it does not run uh, any lines of uh, JavaScript. 
So client side, we execute also XQuery. We embed the XQuery processor into a, in, in JavaScript and we execute the, co the code. So it provides a, a strong language to uh, deal with uh, HTML. And uh, what happens here, for instance, is that I, can't, I, can, I catch an event on the submit button, which is gonna call the submit function, and I'm gonna seamlessly invoke uh, XQuery functions that are defined in, my, in the server. So to go back to the application, so we have a little uh, search box which leverages the full text feature of XQuery, so I can look for the word fish. Okay, so I have this quote from Nemo. And I can use the tilde operator to uh, match narrower terms of fish. So here you see there's this uh, new entry that has been matched by the full text expression. Um, you can use also logical operators. So I can look for fish or pig. And I can also, okay. And I can also exclude the word food. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And last year, a student from Mannheim wrote uh, AWS client library in XQuery. And one, once it was done, he compared the number of lines of code to write the same library in XQuery in compared to the Java client library. And for the same level of functionality, it took 80% less code to build the library in XQuery. This is a PHP comparison. And if you look at this code snippet, you can get a feeling of why XQuery is so much productive. Here you have uh, Java code, uh, SQL expression, XPath expression, JavaScript, HTML. And with XQuery, we are gonna use a single programming language on all layer. So that was a lot of uh, angle brackets you've seen, and what about JSON? In the Zorba uh, development trunk, we are providing a first class support for JSON expression. We are extending the XQuery data model to support uh, the JSON data model. So let me show you uh, an example. So here you see in this query, I have some uh, JSON data, and the language supports uh, first class support for uh, JSON constructions. So I have a couple of uh, statistic data in JSON format, and uh, for each statistic, I'm gonna do a group by, by URL, and I'm gonna compute the average response, response time. So let's execute the query. Yeah, it works, so we get Zero, zero, 005. And um, so the takeaway message, we think that XQuery has the most powerful data model you can find. And as you've seen, it has the first class support for XML, JSON, text. And it all, it's also a unified framework for all layers of traditional software architecture. And as it turns out, this, is a, this flexibility is extremely productive for building an application. And because, of, uh, because it's a declarative programming language, it has uh, a lot of opportunities for optimization and parallelization and for really high speed uh, performance. So there is a young man uh, named Dimitri and he was quite the internet sensation in 2011 and uh, let's see his take on XQuery.
So that's it. I hope you check it out at zorba-explory.com. Thank you very much. Thanks.